it's Alejandro here with my YouTube piano channel, Piano Perfect. Today we're going to be learning the theme to Disney's Gravity Falls. It was requested by one of my students and I'm so excited to bring it to you today. I haven't seen an episode, so if you can forgive me for that, I promise that you will love learning how to play this song. I'm going to give you my best teaching. If you haven't already, please take a minute to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm committed to bringing you my best content. And after you've done that, let's get right into the lesson. Okay, so here's Gravity Falls. It breaks down into five different parts. There's the introduction, there's three main melody sections, and then there's the tinkle at the end. And I want to start with the tinkle at the end because it's the most fun and you just kind of have to have it. It just peers out of nowhere and so you want to have it ready to go. All right, so here's the tinkle. This is the very last thing that happens at the end. It goes like this, you know it. All right, so I'll play it once in slow motion. All right, and so you wanna have your second finger ready to go right on F. You'll do F, A, F, A, right? Nice little skip. E, G. And then the left hand is going to play C, D. That's all it does. So. And then the other D. Right? And so you're going to want to work that up fast. Right? And also, because it comes out of nowhere, you're going to want to practice with your hands in your lap. Right? Being able to just jump on it. And if you get a little more comfortable, maybe you go hands further away. If you want to get extreme, I probably got a little lucky there. So that's the tinkle. The next part I'm going to teach you is the introduction. I'll play that again really slowly for you. And there are three chords that are being arpeggiated. This D minor chord, so you can grip that with one, three, and five. And you can play that pattern two times. And it's basically the same thing. You're just going to have your second finger on C now. Okay. So you do this one two times. This one two times. And now you have a root position A major chord. All right. That's the introduction. Okay, so here's the first melodic section, and I want to work on the left hand first. So it starts in D position, then F, then B flat, C, A. Let's do that again. Once you feel comfortable navigating through these different positions, and they're all pinky thumb, then you want to start to play them to quarter notes. left hand to the beginning section. Let's work on the right hand in the first section. And here you're going to be in D minor five finger position. 
Okay, I'll play it for you one slow. Okay, so D minor position, and you're going to have to stretch your thumb out to C one time. So play one more time. Let's put them together. And what helps me is knowing on which melody note of this hand does it change in the left hand. So they'll, they'll play together on the D, watch. together on the A. Here's their arrest. And now they're going to play together on the G. And then again on the G. Okay. The second part, the left hand is exactly the same. A to these, A to these, A to these, four of these, and four of these. Okay, so we don't need to cover that. Let's just go over the right hand. It goes, ready, and. So it stays in D minor position the whole time except for. All right, I'll play it one more time slowly. Three. Here's the third part. The left hand, everything is chopped in half. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so instead of doing eights, you're gonna just do four, 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 four. Okay, and that's the left hand. All right, the right hand goes. So you're going to have to switch to G minor five finger position and eventually have your four going to C sharp. And anybody who's worked out of the Faber series, this is a lot like the snake charmer position. Okay, so if you remember that, then you can play this. So I'll play it again. Switch. All right, so starting in D minor and then going into G minor position with the C sharp. And then the tinkle. So let's put it all together. And that's it. That's how you play Gravity Falls. If you liked it, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button or hitting subscribe. And if you want to do another song, let me know in the comments. I'm really happy to do it. I love doing this stuff. All right, so I'll see you next time. Take care.